So the second point you want to take into consideration is whether you're going to go for something that's already converted or something you're going to convert yourself. Now I already mentioned that pre-converted vehicles tend to be a lot more expensive. An empty vehicle will always be cheaper, just a panel van. Or an, it, I mean, it may be you want to go for something really big like a Luton van, and in which case, you know, unless you're buying from somebody else who's converted it, then it will be empty. So there's pros and cons to both. The pros to having something that is already converted is you don't have to do anything, you can just move straight in, it's quick. Um, the cons are that it might not be to your taste, you may be paying quite a lot for those that conversion. And for an empty van, um, the pros are that you can do as you like, you can put your own stamp on it, you can do whatever you like if you're a really creative person or you're very clever with you know, woodworking skills and all that sort of thing then you can make something really special of your own. Or it may be you just want something really simple. You just literally want a bed in there, uh, in which case you don't need something that's been fully converted. The cons are obviously that it takes time. It takes a lot of time to actually convert an empty van into a fully functioning camper van motorhome with all the, you know, bells and whistles. I know people who have done it in a minimum of like a month but they were flat out at it um, and most people I know it's taken probably about a year to get this to get their um, van converted into a camper van to the standard that they wanted. Yeah um, one more thing about pros and cons. If you get a panel van and you don't put in any extra windows or lots of windows with curtains mm -hmm. then you will be able to get away with parking just about anywhere as like a work van. If you have lots of windows with curtains or you're very obviously in a camper van or a motorhome then you stand out as being a vehicle where somebody is sleeping inside. This is quite an important consideration. Um, it's fine if you always plan to stay on a, you know, designated campsites and things like that. But um, if you're planning on living in your van, occasionally you might want to park on a street or a lay-by or something like that. And you might want to be a bit discreet. And it's very hard to be discreet when you've got a lot of curtains up 